Okay, this is a segment I have to put my glasses on. Mike told me I have to. We're in Brewster. We're at Brewster Cheese. Big place. Big place. How many millions of pounds of cheese? We got about eight million pounds of cheese on hand at any one time. Eight million right here, right now, any day, every yeah. day. Yeah, we're bringing about a million three hundred thousand pounds of milk a day. And this is what this, and this is where, is where it all starts. Okay, so how many of these trucks of milk come in here a day? About forty-five to fifty a day. Uh, and then we'll run them through. They'll come in twice. And we're all their tests again, all the cheese goes in, all the milk goes in the vats out back. Six, seven vats that hold about 75,000 gallons of milk. Well, let's go so, see some cheese. What okay. do you say? Okay, so there's a big block of cheese. What does that thing weigh? That's about 1,100 pounds. Um, we'll take that out, put it in our, brine, our salt water brine. It'll stay in there for a period of time. And then we'll take that block and cut into three pieces. And each one of our finished blocks is about 32 by 40. So that milk comes out of those trucks. It gets cooked a little bit, huh? It gets cooked up to certain temperature in them vats. It's pumped into the tanks that are upstairs. Comes down here, and then it's pressed over here, and then it, puts in, it goes in the brine. Now, does this, this cheese already have holes in it? No, no holes yet. No it's holes? It's going to take another 30 days to get holes. 30 days? 30 days. And the holes are caused by caution that's put into it and carbon dioxide coming out of it. As the carbon dioxide expands, the holes will pop. And that's when it becomes Swiss ice. So this cheese already has the holes in it now, this huh? This one already has holes in it. We're looking for about a dime size hole. Oh, look at that. As you can see that, this is where the carbon dioxide would have been and the hole would pop. We're looking for one to two holes per tire like this size. That will give us about one hole per slice when you see it in the package. Oh. And that's what the consumer is looking for so they can make sure it's less cheese. That's the common background. Why is it so noisy in here? We have all the noise because each one of these boxes weighs 360 pounds. We have to have air movement around both ways so that we get proper cooling and warming of the cheese. So the cheese will cool down, warm up, and then cool down again the whole way through the process. Great, and what do you do with these pieces when you're done with them? These pieces, we take the top part off, put it back in a hole, throw this piece in a bucket, and it goes to fish bait. It actually feeds bait or fish. That's excellent. So it's used for food. There's no waste in here at all. So what we'll do is we'll take the bags off, look for any perfections, run through the harp, it'll Profile it, and we'll inspect every piece, grade it, that's the final grading, stack it, and ship it off to customers. So what room does this go to now after they pack this up? After it gets packed up, it goes to our distribution cooler, which is upstairs. It'll stay here for probably three or four days, and then it'll go out to our customer and they'll slice it from there, package it, and it go out to the store. I love that bit of technology you were telling me about how now people want the holes to be a little smaller than they did in the old days because they slice it faster. It slices so fast now. If you have too big of a hole, it won't slice. It'll just tear apart. Right. Now they want like a dime-sized hole, three or four of them, and it's run. About 1,000, 1,200 slices a minute is what they're running. Okay, so... As opposed to the old hand thing. Okay, they've been making cheese here since, what, the 30s, family-owned since 1965. Yep. If somebody wanted to... Try the, try the Brewster cheese. What's, what brand should they buy in the store? Um, if you buy a Star General brand or Boar's Head. Um, oh, Boar's Head, that's a big, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I always see Boar's Head in the high-end sandwich places. That's pretty cool. Yeah, or any kind of retail um, establishment. Yeah, the Sargento. Yeah. So this is really a high-quality cheese, and you say you ship it all over the world. It all over the world. It's terrific. Yeah, man. it's hard to say how many different labels it's in. Yeah. You know, once we leave here, it gets packed in so many different labels. It's, well, thank you very much. Really thank appreciate you. it, Mike. Thanks for coming down to see us. Had a good time. And when we come back, we're going to have a whole lot more of New Day Cleveland on the road. That's after the break. <laughs>